All right, sitting here at the coffee table. I got a package delivered today from 4x4 Truck LEDs for the double fishing rod holder. Double fishing rod holder that comes on the trail sites of the Ford Bronco. It pretty much can go like this on one site or you can split it and do one on each side. One on each side is how I'm going to do it because it allows you to open the hood should something happen. Ooh, just got sick there. They sent it with a stickers. Really good instructions, which shows the one and the two, how to put them together, as well as an air freshener for my stinky car. I'm putting these on as a single one on each side because I plan on taking a trip um, up north with my boys. And I should, should something happen, I wanna be able to open the hood to access the air compressor, to access any issues if I have any on the road, don't wanna to have to pull anything apart. So I think this is what I'm gonna do is just put each one up on each trail site here. And then I'll use a little um, bungee cord to strap into each fishing pole as I drive. So that's how I set them up. Really easy, stainless steel hardware, really great. Just gotta tighten these up to start to mushroom the uh, washer. Not over tighten them, it is a lock nut on the end. So get them in there tight, they're pretty sturdy. And then we'll mount them to the um, trail sites with these replacement stainless steel bolts. Uh, the only thing, you know, if they were black, that was the only thing, but you know, a stainless steel is not gonna rust, it's gonna be okay. These go on with a lock washer and then a flat washer to keep them on there. I may put a little dab of Loctite on there just to make sure they stay in. But yeah, so this is where we are. I'm gonna go outside here in a little bit and unbolt and start putting them on. I will go ahead and update y'all here once I'm out there doing that part. It's just 91 degrees outside with 179% humidity here in Florida. But uh, these would be a good thing. My boy and I are taking a fishing trip this Saturday, so I might be able to put them to use by, you know, throwing his rod in there so we can go. But uh, I'll update you here shortly as it goes. Thank you. See you in a minute. All right, so here we are. We're going to use two T40s, one on each side of these to pop out this one and this one here. So I got the camera in my hand, so it'll take me a moment to do that. But once I get that out, I'll be able to install this and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are on the Bronco with the trail sights. On each one of these, it takes a T40 and there's also a T40 on the other side. Here's the nut portion and there's the bolt portion. That goes through your trail sight here. We're gonna be replacing the stud portion, the bolt portion with this I believe it's an M6. I may be wrong. I gotta look at the instructions, but you'll know in the instructions. Replace with this bolt, it is gonna go in here. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt that onto this side here, and then I'll go ahead and bring it to you when we're on, and then we'll go on to do the other side there. Okay, so here we are. One, two. We got two of these installed. We'll see how much whistling they do on the way to work today and tomorrow. I mean, it only took seriously like five minutes to install them both. I think I spent more time looking for an extra T40 to get to the backside here. But seriously, I mean, it's not a bad install. I keep my kids fishing poles out from, you know, hooking the and snagging in the inside of the interior. So, and don't mind the kids in the background destroying the Suburban. We're doing an LS swap on a old 72 c10 but uh pretty neat little kr off-road 4x4 led fishing pole brackets um the double mount turns into a single on each side if you wanted it so uh, we're all pretty happy we'll see how it goes on our trip to maine coming up here at the end of the month and uh make sure the kids fishing poles stay safe thanks have a great day